What's up, everybody? We are just a few people away from 300 subscribers. Thank you so much. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining my family. And if you're watching me for the very first time, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And you can also become part of Explore with Ava. Explore with Ava. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, no, stop. Story time! Okay, so I am not going to use the, the people's actual names. Yeah, I'm going to start by giving them names. Everybody that is in the story is not getting their real names. Even though two people from this story know that I'm telling this story, I would rather keep their names out of it. So, um, I'm going to use prison break characters to give my people the names. <laughs> uh, starting with Michael Scottfield. Michael Scottfield is this guy that I was dating and we had been together for about seven months we met through a friend at a party and from the minute that we met we really really vibed i really liked this guy cool uh, so this guy he calls me and he's like listen there is a chillers at my place do you want to come over with your friend and i'm gonna call my friend sarah i was with sarah and she she's like obviously i want to go to a chillers and i also do want to do mind going to a chillers i mean it's a friday let's go so we went to this chillers at his place i'm not mentioning the name of the place as well because there's a lot of people from tata here uh so we go there and when we get there there's his friend that i had already like i already known from the time that we were dating i'm gonna name him t-bag so T-Bag is there and his girlfriend is not there. I also knew his girlfriend. His girlfriend is not there, but there's like a lot of other people that I don't know. There were like about 12, 13 people or more. I don't remember well. And then there was this girl that there were a lot of girls. There was like other girls as well, but there was this girl who was like very cool with us and she was very nice. Her name is going to be Ariana because there's no girls in this series. Who? So, <laughs> I'm going to name her Ariana. So Ariana was vibing with us. So I didn't feel like drinking that day. Like I even told my friend that I'm just going to hold on to a bottle of Savannah so that people don't think that don't see that I'm not really drinking. And I held on to my bottle and I was just vibing. I was in it. I was dancing. So T-Bag kept on coming to check on me. Like he was regularly checking on me. And I'm like, nigga, since when are we like this now? Since when do we do the check check? thing because when we are vibing together i'm with scofield you with your people and there's no checking on each other so you know he just kept on and i was like i found it very strange so he comes in and he's, he says yeah hey, don't you want to check on him and i was like okay let me go what is happening and then when i was coming out he said i can hold you a drink for you i gave him my drink and then I went out and when I got there, Scofield was buying meat and he was not like getting killed by alcohol and anything. He was cool like everybody else. And I didn't even chill that long. Like I stood there and it was cold. I decided to go back inside and I met t on on the door and I was like, where's my drink? And he's like, it's on the table. So table, there is no drink on the table. And I'm like, I know who took my drink? And then Ariana says, no, I saw that you were not drinking and I decided I'm going to take it. <laughs> T-Bag was already out the door and he quickly turned and he's like, we're selling. This is like, what is happening? And before I could even also answer Ariana, because I was, I was going to tell Ariana that I don't mind you drinking the drink because I'm not, I'm really not drinking. He's like, Ariana, we're selling a that drink. Do you drink it? And Ariana is like, yeah. And when Ariana answers, I'm also like, nigga, it's cool. I'm fine. And then all Scottfield comes in because he was very loud. He was shouting like, but yeah, we sell it a drink. We sell it. <laughs> so Scottfield comes in and is like, what's going on? And then T-Bag quickly is like, no, I can't do it. Let's go back outside. And I'm like, no, 
Ikonindo. <laughs> and then U, U Ariana explains to, to, to Schofield, but no, I took Ash's drink and all of a Sunday, this guy is not happy with me taking the drink. Hey, <laughs> Schofield, Michael. Michael Schofield jumped for T-Bag's neck oh, and strangled him. They went down and he was busy in it. Mm, mm, mm. And he's shouting, when's that door? Ah, when's that door? When's that door? No, and I'm like, oh man, Michael, you're not going to be with me. People pulled Michael up and they separated them because Tibet was like, when's the moon? Tibet was also mad. And then now they were swearing at each other. They were like, oh, they were giving out the big crosser swear words. Guys, we know them. The ones with the Q's, the one with the NY's, the ones with the S, the both ones, the both ones with the S, the other one, and the other one. But they were using the both S words and they were using more like the S word. <laughs> anyway, so they were shouting each other and nobody's getting what is happening. And then T Bag now says, uh, I come now to go class and go, eh? It's not nice when it's being done to you. You did this to me, and do you really think I was gonna forget and I was gonna let it go? What did you think was gonna happen? I'm like, okay. So as soon as he says that, Ariana jumps, and the way Ariana was jumping, it was almost like she didn't want me to get what was happening. Like she was pushing me outside. Like, but no, 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 must pull me up. Must see you again, and must pull me. I'm like, I need to go back inside. I need to hear what is happening. What is this guy talking about? And. The other guys in there who also knew what he was talking about were like, but brah, this is over. This has happened in the past. Why are you bringing it back now? What is happening? And this is even, you are not even, no, you are no longer with that person anymore. Why are you bringing it back now? And like, oh, okay, something is beating the water. And then I'm like, Scofield, and then Scofield is like, don't even try to, to put yourself in this thing. This happened even before I knew you. This is not about you. And don't make a big deal about it. I'm like, okay, I don't even know what you're talking about. But shh, I'm not leaving it alone. This guy here obviously did something to my drink. And you're telling me this is not about me. And then they take Scofield outside. And then when they take Scofield outside, because they still wanted to hit each other, they take Scofield outside. And then T-Bag is left inside and he breaks it down for me. He's like, this guy raped my girl, spiked her drink, and he raped her. And he says that he, up to this day, he told me that, and he says that the girl wanted him. And I'm like, Obananko, T-Bag. Michael, <laughs> love of my life. was like yoga. And then I went at this time, I, I go outside because Michael is so busy, like Scofield is so busy. Yay! He's angry. The brother is like, and I'm like, Briga, nigga, come to me. Tell me, what is happening? Did you rape somebody's girl? Did you rape T Bag's girlfriend? Yes or no? Did you do that? This time, guys, oh, that Ariana character. Yay, this Ariana is like, Abba, ya te toilet or ya pel, ya te to ya pel. I'm like, ya te to, you mean ya te to ya pel? Did Michael go to jail? Did Scofield go to jail? Did he go to jail for raping the girl? If he did not, then Azangi pay. He's like, no, yeah, yeah, you land on your, your pen and your mom will come to Gaganzan. So you're going to make him more angry. Leave it. Talk about it tomorrow. I'm banning in a book. No, la la, do la la, do la la, na ban, do la la, do la la. And Michael Scofield says to me, you need to stop being dramatic. I told you this is not about you. And there's no reason for you to make this a big deal. I didn't know you when this happened. And... You have no reason to be angry. And I'm like, Sarah, my friend, can we take a taxi? Can we call a cab and go home? Because 
Kulu is not that far. We can just go home right now. We called a cab and we were not gonna wait in his house for the cab to come. We walked, we walked out and we, the cab came and we went home. Guys, I could not sleep. <laughs> I was so traumatized. I could not sleep. And for me, what was traumatic is not the fact that Uskofi, I mean, Uti Bag tried to run a number on me. Uti Bag tried to do the most with me. But the, the traumatic thing is that my boyfriend, who love of my life, we had even discussed baby names. He was going to be the father of my kids. I had spent millions of my time with him he is capable of rape so i knew from that day that i need to get this girl and i need to hear her side of the story i need to hear this girl's side of the story and for us to hear the story I, we knew that we, we needed to go through ariana so sarah was there with me she's like definitely and Sarah was more cool with Ariana. So Sarah is the one that went and approached Ariana. And Ariana was like, mm -mm. And I got a drama in song. I want to I want to was so dramatic. She was so unnecessary. Don't you understand the land? Oh, Ariana says I look good. So Ariana did not give us any information. I went back to the main character. I went to Michael Scofield and then I asked him and obviously I was not going to tell him about give me the gross details so that I can meet her and talk to her. No. I asked, I was like, okay, I want to forgive you, but first you got to tell me, babe, tell me, what did you do? <laughs> so here's what I got from him. T-Bag has this friend, I also know this friend who stays in Jobek. He doesn't stay there, but he has a lot of business in Jobek. So he came back one weekend with a date rape drug and then he gave it to T-Bag. And T-Bag was like, T-Bag and Michael Scofield were like, we want to see if this thing works and we're going to test it out and we're going to test it with us. Okay, we're not going to put it, we're not going to use it in other people. Why would you want to test out a, da a date rape drug? Because so they had a small gathering at, at T-Bag's place there was five of them and they all took the drug they all spiked everybody's drink and she he says that it wasn't working but not no nobody knew it was only the the both of them who knew that the drinks are spiked so he says that the, the drug was not working for him and he thought that maybe it's not working at all he did not feel anything different and Utibag had been drinking too much so Tibek was drinking too much and Tibek passed out and for him it, when Tibek passed out he thought it's because he's drunk so the other two people who were there in the party as well left and they were still okay it was a couple and they were still okay so he says that this girl let's name her Ash this girl or Ash was throwing herself at him or at least say that he was throwing himself herself at him and for him because he knew that the drug was not working he like he went on with it and for him they they had consensual sex it was not rape and they forgot about it so he did give me the girl's name and the girl's address and sarah and i met the girl we went to her first we, we tried to get her number through facebook we spoke to her on facebook and we got her number it was sarah doing the talking she got the number and we went to meet up with her she even gave us the address and we went to meet her and I introduced myself to her. I told her, this is why I'm here. And I would really like you to talk to me if you are comfortable with it. And if you're not comfortable, I'll go. And the girl was like, oh, of course, I can tell you the story any day, any time. So the girl tells me that for her, what she remembers is them dancing on the floor. And she, what she remembers is that she was very hyped. And then she went to bed and she woke up with Michael next to him they were both undressed and T-Bag was passed out in the lounge so Michael told him that we agreed on it we just did it and we both wanted each other but she could not remember anything and she didn't tell Michael this and she only told T-Bag that actually nigga I don't remember anything so T-Bag was very bothered by this obviously he went and he asked Michael Michael after denying for a couple of time and telling them the same story that he told me he finally told T-Bag that I actually did not spike my drink 
I did not put the drug on my drink. So that was him confessing. I don't know if it was just like, hey, nigga, so I just ran a number on your girl. So this girl, t -Bag, went and told Ash again, but no, this is the actual thing that happened. Out of guilt, he told Ash, and Ash was like, okay, nigga, I'm done with you. I'm done with both of you. I'm out of here. This was not a serious thing anyway, and they were done. And I was like, did you go to the police? Get in the car and then let's go to the police station. You need to go report this. You were raped. And when you go to the police station, you are reporting both of them. Because T-Bag spiked your drink. He knew that you were drugged. And he did not do anything about this. He actually allowed it to happen. And the other idiot raped you. You need to go and report them. Both of them. Go to police station right now. I beg. And he was like, and what is that going to do for me? Like, you're going to get justice. Girl, you're going to get justice. And those people are going to go behind. Like, what if they do this to somebody else? How, how do you know if they haven't done it again to somebody else? They haven't tried it again. He was like, girl, you watch too much TV. I'm not going to any police station. I would rather forget what happened. And I'll just rather live my life. And I was so defeated. I, I still talk to the girl up to this day. Even now she knows I'm doing this video. And she's told me several times, like a million times, that she does not want to press charges. And I think she should. And I really think she should. If you think that I'm being dramatic for that, you can tell me. I'll take it. I don't care. But I really think that she should. And she... Oh! Guys, the reason I'm sitting here telling this story right now, ne? The guy left town, Scofield left town, and I hadn't seen him since then. And then uh, hey, last week, I see him in town, and then he says to me, he greets me, obviously, and then he says, Usana drama nango, kukanye wakul. I wanna cry. Yo, I called Ash again, I'm like, Ash, it's me. My love, are you so you still don't want to press charges? Because this nigga can still go to jail. Are you so you don't want to press the charges? Ash, you don't want me to press the charges for you, okay? At least, yeah. Uh. And the girl is, is like, no, you need to forgive him, girl, because I did. So you're the one who needs to forgive him so that you can be able to be to live with the fact that he did that and you were also in the situation guys date rape drug is a thing if, whether in Amtata or you're in East London you're in Johannesburg or wherever date rape drug is a thing and rapists are people that we know it's no strangers it's people that we live with you need to be extra careful when you are in a party you need to keep your drink to yourself guys it's not a TV thing and if you're sitting there right now you think that I was being dramatic throughout the whole situation it's fine girl I don't have time to explain myself but but you really need to be careful I know when it comes to rape there is no such thing as being cautious and being careful because you never know when it's actually gonna happen and you never know who it is going to come from but at least man when you're at a groove or when you're at a party keep your drink to yourself okay I'm gonna sip on water and wait for the president to open the things again so I can have actual drinks bye bye guys I'll see you on my next video